Why are eels the most loving animal? Why, Sean? Amore. Would you be mad if I said I didn't get it? Uh, let's try again. What do you do with a chemist when he dies? What? Bury him. My name is Sean DeMars. I am uh, probably the third least bad white belt of 10th Planet Decatur. And uh, I've been training here for a year and I think two months. Yeah, so uh, I left Decatur when I was 18. Me, no, 19. Me and my wife joined the military. Spent five years uh, as combat medics in the Army, one tour of duty in Iraq. While we were in the Army, we learned uh, combatives and really enjoyed it. Um, but then we got out of the Army, went to the mission field as missionaries. We lived in the middle of the jungle in South America. Did that for about four years, came back, and uh, basically went to work as a pastor. So, uh, yeah, for just almost a decade, didn't really have an opportunity to do jujitsu or anything like that. But when I found, uh, actually, the way I found this gym was I saw the video that's been seen a million times of Brandon beating up the wrestler guy and when I saw that he was in Decatur I was like oh okay I'm moving back to Decatur I'll go check it out and that's how I got here initially I don't know that I had any goals I just enjoyed it I remembered enjoying doing jiu-jitsu the first time that I had tried it and so I just wanted uh, another kind of physical activity in CrossFit one of the mottos that they have is learn new sports always try to learn new sports and I wanted to do that and this seemed like a fun sport because one, it's very intellectually stimulating, but two, it's also intellectually stimulating while you get to wrestle. So, I mean, it's a win-win. Um, so, like, my first month, after my first month, my goal was to be a purple belt. Because I heard Brandon say, a purple belt is basically like a superhero. And I was like, okay, that's good. Black belt just seems too far away, right? It's just, it's just you know, eight, ten years, it's just too far away. Um, so that was kind of my short term, like three to five year attainable goal. But it didn't take but a couple months for me to quickly get past that and say, no, I want to be as good at jujitsu as I possibly can. So yeah, that's my goal, black belt. You know, everything connects some way, right? Uh, and a, if you listen to kind of, uh, you know, the Joe Rogan, what jujitsu is, you know, it's high level problem solving under extreme, you know, stress and duress. Uh, then, yeah, something that you learned here can be applicable in other areas of life. Yeah. And, yeah, there's some good sermon illustrations, but I have to be careful because nobody really knows what I'm talking about when I say, you know you're going for that arm triangle and you can't lock it in? Jiu-jitsu anyway. is one of the several tools that I actively uh, use in my life to learn the, the skill of perseverance, right? Uh, my natural default setting is to quit. It's to be weak, it's to give up on something when it gets hard, right? Um, but if you, if you do that, you're, you're just never gonna get anywhere in life, right? You're never gonna get your degree, you're never gonna finish your time in the military, you're never gonna lose that weight, you're never gonna save money, you, you know, you're never gonna pay off your house. Uh, what, what we need is a sustained effort in the same direction. So I use CrossFit to do that. I do workouts that feel impossible, that make me wanna quit every time I do them but I develop a pattern of not quitting, right? Um, same thing with jujitsu, right? You, you get crushed for the first six months, just your face just smashed over and over again, and you leave here feeling so discouraged, like you're never gonna get any better, or you get put in that same bad position 10,000 times, and the temptation is to just quit, to just give up, or to not work that move anymore. Um, but you persevere, and eventually you, you find a way. Uh, so jujitsu, in my mind, is not special in that it doesn't, it, it is not the singular thing in our lives that we can use to learn discipline and perseverance, but it is a very good tool. It can be used uh, really well for that purpose. Now, one of the things that I enjoy about this gym is that it doesn't feel like a martial arts gym. So I know a lot of people very much appreciate the, the hard charging, testosterone filled, uh, romper room vibe. I'm, I, I don't need that. I'm secure in, in who I am and, and as a man and as a person. And so when I come here, uh, I'm not trying to enter into that world. I, 
I use jujitsu to uh, be a kind of stress relief, right? So I don't want to come in here and, and feel like I'm about to get into a fight every time I step on the mats, right? So uh, Brandon does a lot to, uh, yeah, empower that vibe. He sets the tone. Whether, whether, it's, whether it's in the church or the home or in the gym, leadership and, and the culture and the DNA is always top down. So with Brandon, you have somebody who takes jujitsu very seriously, who's, uh, who is inspired to develop his craft with excellence, but at the same time, uh, it doesn't feel like this is everything, right? He doesn't make that the vibe of the gym, which is great for my kids because uh, I, I, I want my daughters to learn how to defend themselves and protect themselves if they're ever in that position. And so my young, my oldest comes and trains. And uh, yeah, she always has fun, enjoys herself. In contrast, my youngest daughter went to a gymnastics uh, place here in town. And uh, the very first day, the teacher made her cry because she started yelling at her because she wasn't doing something right. Um, and I think with that contrast, you can kind of understand the culture of this gym. Um, jiu Jitsu is really hard. It's really physical, it's a combat sport. And when you come in here, you're gonna get crushed physically. Your ego is gonna be crushed. Uh, and it's gonna be hard. But those are the sorts of things that uh, develop you into a stronger and better person. Man, female, man, woman, doesn't matter. You, you, you face hard things in life and you learn how to persevere and overcome. So I know that the typical response that you would expect is to say, ah, you know, it's not gonna be that bad, warm, friendly, you know, you'll get the hang of it. But the truth is it's hard and it's tough. Um, but I think it's worth it. That's my perspective. Yeah, buddy. All right, we got there. I just had to warm up a little bit. I don't know a little bit about Brandon. Yeah, uh, Brandon's the worst. This gym is terrible. Now, uh, now. <laughs>